Hello, so we are now in week three of our lockdown. I hope you're all keeping fit and well and healthy at home um, and enjoying some of the videos that I've been putting online for you. Um, I have decided that I'm going to be doing three 20 minute um, Pilates workouts. So we're gonna move quickly through this. This is the strong one. Um, so if you find it too strong, I suggest you take it down a level and do the intermediate and then again down to the gentle. Um, but as always, work within your ability stay safe and um, please don't force a movement and um, hope you enjoy it. Something that I tend to do when I haven't got time to do my own workout, I haven't got a full hour to do a workout, I'll just do a quick 20 minute blast. So let's go. Right, you're going to start by standing feet wide, feet wide and you're going to start by breathing all the way up, 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 up and then back down again and go again, breathing up and back down. This time we're going to start getting those legs involved, so up and then squat down, stay there. Now make sure your knees are tracking over your big toe and second toe and I want you to just pulse here eight times. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Stay down right now. I want your elbow to go on the knee and lean over. So we're just warming up the spine before we get down onto the mat warming up those legs, making sure everything is firing up. And back, now come up onto your toes. And you're gonna do the same on your toes. Whoop, wobble, over you go. So you require a little bit more balance, a little bit more control to do this. And then over you go. That's it, and down. Right, now this time, want your arms out wide and you're going to hinge over. So hinge over, hands go down towards the floor and start straightening your legs so you get a hamstring stretch. Breathe in, as you breathe out, sink a little bit further down, head goes down to the floor. And then peel yourselves all the way back up, 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 up. Arms out wide. And we're just gonna do one more lateral movement. Over you go. Breathe in, as you breathe out, go a little bit further. And then back up and over you go. And back, a bit of rotation. Rotate around and push once, twice, back to the middle, and push once, twice, back to the middle. Push, push, back to the middle, and push, push, back to the middle. Now, we're getting down to the floor. I told you it was a faster series of exercises. So, stand towards the end of your mat. Just take a moment to think about your posture. So, your head is in line with your shoulders, please. None of this, none of this. No, no, definitely not. So stand up tall. Neutral spine alignment, breathe in. And as you breathe out, bring your arms up. And this time you're going to forward fold. So straight back as you lean over. And then release your spine all the way down towards the floor. Walk your hands out into a plank position. Come down onto your knees, swing your legs around. We're gonna start with the 100. Okay, so sitting up tall. Make sure that you're, you've always got a distance of a grapefruit underneath your chin and for this abdominal series. So lie yourself down, peel down, hang out there, bring one leg up, other leg up, straighten both legs, give those shoulders a little bit of a roll and just start ready to push. And two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three, four, no strain in your necks please, five, Six, breathe in, breathe out. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Pull both knees in towards your chest. Hold on to your left knee, lengthen your right leg away. And swap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pull both knees in, out, in, three, four, start feeling those abdominals firing up, seven, and eight. If you notice the pace is faster than we would normally do in the class, so please be careful. Open your elbows out, lift back up, reach your right leg away, twist your right elbow towards your left knee and swap, hold, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
Let's just hug those knees in towards the chest. Hold on to the back of your left leg. Straighten your right leg, let that drop down. Now straighten your left leg as well. Breathe in and push. One, two, swap. One, two, swap. Three, four. That's it, five, keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. This time, return the head back down to the mat. Shoulders back down to the mat. Make sure your spine is in neutral, please. So just tilt forwards and backwards. Make sure you're in neutral. Legs come up to tabletop. Point those legs up to the ceiling. Start lowering your legs ever so slowly down towards the floor. Stay in neutral for this and draw them back up. And two. If it's too strong, you can bend your knees. And three. And four. Back up this time, hands behind your head, lift your head and shoulders up. You're going to repeat that, but this time your spine is pushing down into the floor. Please do not pull on your necks. And two. And three. And four. That's it, good work. Feet go down onto the floor. Hands come down by your sides, I'm getting ready for some shoulder bridges. So I want you to come up onto your tiptoes, please. Feet tuck close in towards your bottom, peel your hips up and then back down and keep going, tilt, peel up and then back down. This time you're going to come up, keep those hips up, bring your left leg up to tabletop, point that leg up to the ceiling, flex your foot, lower it down, point, back up, flex, down, point, back up, flex, down, point, back up, flex, down, point, back up, two, more, keep that leg up and push, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, toes go down, other leg comes up to tabletop, point it up, flex, drop, point, back up, flex, drop, point, three, four, five, and six, keep that leg up and push one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pop that foot down, peel yourself all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. Spine is in neutral, arms go wide. Let your le left leg lengthen away, right leg comes up, point it up towards the ceiling. Let it drop all the way over your body, great big circle all the way around and back up, across around, hip circles, three, and the other way, open out, and two, and three, that's it, that foot goes down, slide that leg away, other knee comes in, point it up, across, round, and up, across, round, up, three, and the other way. Ooh, yes. Touch the wall, last one. That's it, hug your knees in towards your chest. Bring your head up to meet your knees. And just roll yourselves up. And we're gonna go over onto our front to do a little bit of press up work. So, onto your hands, onto your toes. Make sure that spine stays in neutral. Breathe in as you breathe out. Elbows stay tightened towards your waist. But what I want you to do is to walk your hands back towards your feet and peel up in between each press up. We're just gonna do five of those. So drop your chin to your chest, down you go. Walk your hands out, push, push. Walk your hands back, peel up. This is number three, down. Walk your hands out. Push, push, come back up, keeping those elbows tight in towards the chest, please. Tricep press ups, down. Walk your hands out and push, push. I've lost count. Ah. And come back up, let's do two more. Drop your chin to your chest, down you go. That's it, good. Push, push. 
last one down all the way down all the way down walk the hands out this time you're not going to come back up you're going to go down onto your elbows we're going to hold a plank here here just keep going keep holding breathe in and out in keep going keep going going five more seconds four three two one down onto those knees stretch yourself out but it comes straight back up onto your hands right this time you're going to lift your left leg up and push up one two three four, five, six, seven, eight. Pull in, out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Back foot goes down, other leg comes up. Push one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In, two, three, just a gentle nod of the head as you do that. Six, seven, eight. Four. Abs firing up hard. Sit back onto your heels. Good. Onto back work. Slide yourselves all the way forwards. Go down onto the mat. What I'd like you to do is have your hands a little bit higher. Then your shoulders, that's about three or four inches higher than my shoulders. Palms are wide, shoulders are soft. I want you to start by just pushing yourself up and release back down and go again, push up. If your back feels nice and secure, you can bring your hands a little bit closer towards you. And down and up. This time when you go down, your legs are gonna lift up. That's it, hands go down. Do not, please, rock. I know the original version of this exercise was a really big rocking movement, but I don't want you to do that at home, please. That's it, last one. Up and then down. You stay with your arms lifted, legs lifted. Start beating the opposite arm and opposite leg. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, oh, strong. Push yourselves back onto your heels. Catch your breath. I certainly need to catch mine. Heart rate should be raised a little bit. So the pace of this is much faster than what we normally do in class. Basically trying to condense it so you get a full 20 minutes. We work the whole body from top to tail. And I do a little bit of rolling. But what I want you to do, put the soles of your feet together. Make sure that you are at the very, very ends of your mat. Put your hands inside the knees and grab hold of the outside of your ankles. We're going to do rolling but the seal. So sit up tall, tilt, roll, clap, 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 clap. Always makes people laugh when I do this one in the class. If your children are watching at home, they'll be laughing too. As always, please make sure you do not roll onto the neck. It should feel nice on the back after what you've just done. Because now we're going to be moving on to a little bit of side plank work, hard side plank work, last one, clap, 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 come up, Just keep your feet hovered, hands towards the outside, straighten one leg, straighten the other, release, hold, nice little teaser, okay, okay, good work, now you're going to roll over, onto your sides, straight onto the side, you're going to go onto your feet, there is the option to go onto the knee underneath if you want to, but this is the strong class, so we're going strong, we're going straight up, please make sure the elbow is directly underneath your shoulder and you have one super long line, that's it, now lift your leg up so you star, three, now lower down, 
and push up and two three just doing repetitions of four for this and pull in reach out two three and four that foot goes down this time hip drops down push back up two three and four and then rotate underneath open out and two and three last one four good work it goes down let's turn over onto the other side oh my hair's coming all loose doesn't matter i'm gonna come up again shoulder directly on top of the elbow please now when you're ready lift that top leg up squeeze your abdominals brace breathe and then lower down and up two three and four pull in and reach two three and four that's it hands up drop hip up two three and four and then under open out and two and three and four that's it go on Lie yourself down, sit yourself up. This time, I want your feet to be about mat width. I've turned around this direction so you can see me better, but you can just be straight on your mat. It doesn't really matter. Open your arms out wide. Breathe in as you breathe out, rotate, push once, twice, back, push, push, and three. I don't know if you can hear that. There's a massive bumblebee currently in the studio. He's over there, probably woken up with all the lovely weather we had over the weekend. Right now, hands out here. I'm actually going to turn a little bit more side on so you can see what's going on with my back. Breathe in, bend your knees a little bit, and as you breathe out, tuck your tailbone under, and then reach over towards your feet. You can grab hold of the soles of your feet or the backs of your calves if you would like to. Pull gently with your hands, push gently with your feet so you get a stretch into the lower back. One of the hardest movements to actually get. I do use hands to assist to get the stretch into this area, but it's one you do need to be very careful with. And listen to your own body. Sit up tall and you must, you know what I mean by that. Don't force a movement. Grab hold of the feet and push. That's it. Let me put the two together for the sore. So open your arms out wide, rotate to rolls your left. Hand pushes around, left hand towards right ankle. And then come up, centre. Other way, down, up, back. Rotate, over, back, up. Rotate, over, back, up. Good work. Just about done. What I would like you to do now is to stretch out your hamstrings and your hip flexors. We're going to start with hamstrings. You're going to stay sitting on the floor. Toes come up towards you and just lean over towards your feet. Breathe in and then as you breathe out, relax into the stretch and pull yourself a little bit further towards your knees or towards your feet. You should be feeling a nice stretch going all the way down the back of the legs. might also in this position get it into your back so this is a 20 minute wake up call basically if you've only got 20 minutes if you're still working from home and you have 20 minutes in the morning it's a good one to do I should have said that at the beginning really um, but we're going to now stretch out your hip flexors you can do it on your knee. My knees don't really enjoy being in this position, so I like to come up onto my toes and stretch out here. As long as you're feeling a stretch on the inside of the hip, then that's fine. 
right, whichever arm is, leg is behind you, that arm comes up and then you lean over towards the opposite side so that you get a bigger, deeper stretch going all the way down the back of that leg. Knee goes down, hand comes down, and then swap over onto the other side. Other foot goes forwards, stretch out, toes under, lift up, lunge down, hand comes up and over. Brilliant. The last one we're going to do is a piriformis stretch, which again we're going to be lying down. So lie yourself down, put your left foot on top of your right knee and pull that knee in towards you. I like to finish off with this piriformis stretch. Good. Excellent. And the other foot, pull the knee in towards you. That foot goes down. Let's put your arms out wide. Bit of a rotation. Keep your knees and your ankles together. Let your knees drop over to one side, look towards the opposite side. You can lengthen out the top leg if you want to getting a deeper stretch in that rotation. Foot comes back and then up and over the other way. And again, foot can lengthen out. You feel a bigger stretch going around into the spine, top of the hip area. And then come back. And you're gonna roll over onto your sides. Come up over to, onto your hands and knees. Tuck your toes under. Straighten your leg, keeping your hands on the floor or towards the floor. Breathe in, and then as you breathe out, you're going to stack your spine all the way back up again. And you are now finished. Thank you very, very much. Hope you enjoyed that quick 20 minute blast. Um, and ping me any messages if you need, if you have any questions. Take care. Thanks. Bye.